You're listening to PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome to In a Perfect World, where we know what growth stage our cat is in and how that changes their behavior. I'm Pamela Merritt from The Way of Cats. Today, I'm talking about the sometimes baffling ways cats grow and develop. I find that there is a lot of confusion about cats and their growth stages. When does a cat stop being a kitten? When is my cat grown up? And when is my cat a senior cat? Part of the confusion comes from the fact that cats adjust their growth according to their environment. A young cat experiencing adversity can delay their maturation until circumstances improve. But that same cat experiencing adversity can also accelerate their sexual development. This is a tactic by Mother Nature that hopes to create a new generation before the food runs out. It can be very puzzling to figure out the age of a rescued stray. A cat who has been chronically short of food can be undersized and be mistaken for a juvenile. This is what happened with Reverend Jim. He wasn't even five months old, yet could easily be mistaken for a neglected adult because he was a big kitten and a lack of food had used up all his body fat. When it comes to kittens, I consider any cat a kitten up to the age of three years. This is not a radical notion as you might think. While it's true that most cats are sexually mature by one year and certainly need altering before that time, this is only part of their maturation process. Over and over again in my rescuing days, I would take a cat to the vet who would declare that the cat was about a year old and wouldn't grow anymore. Next year, I would bring in that same cat, now approximately twice as big. So while cat growth stages are a confusing subject, it is an important one to understand. We can't expect more of the baby cat than they can deliver. Discovering our cat is older than we expected also changes our training and care routines. And we should always respond to behavior, not our preconceptions. For an alpha cat like my Tristan, the maturation process might never be complete. Tristan has only now, at the age of four, begun showing some signs of adult sensibility. While our one-year-old Mithrandir is still very much a kitten, he is a Maine Coon mix, and they don't mature until age four or five. At some point, Mithy will give up kitten ways, but Tristan might retain them his whole lifespan. And if we had a gamma kitten, they act much more mature than their age from as early as six months, or even younger. Since most of our cats are breed mixes, we don't always know what to expect. In podcast number three, The Cat Types, I explain how to look for breed clues. By understanding what breed might have contributed to our particular cat, we know much more about what we can expect from their development. When Tristan began elongating at six weeks, I realized we had an alpha. So we stocked up on toys, made sure we added play sessions to our daily routine, and looked for places where we could put a tall cat tree, all to burn off the monkey antics of the alpha cat type. If our surprise foster had turned out to be a gamma kitten, we would need to make different accommodations for the kitten's needs. Instead of a tall cat tree, our little gamma would be needing hidey holes closer to the ground. Alphas need to have their energy discharged, while gammas need to feel secure. They like toys with fluttery details and sparkly accents. Alphas are all about action, and gammas are all about contemplation. Alphas stay kittens, while gammas seem solemn very early. Our big kitten, Miss Rondier, was barely into adolescence when a casual observer would think he was full-grown. He weighed 10 pounds at only 7 months old, and he trained very quickly. All we had to say was a gentle, now Mithy, and he would be aware that he should be more careful, while Tristan was more stubborn. All of our kittens go through the same stages, in the same order, but the time they spend in each stage differs widely. I didn't worry about either of them, though. They were developing as I expected them to. This is why categories like looks and age should be meaningless to potential adopters. We must look at their personality characteristics first and foremost. 
In any case, their kitten stage will be a relatively short part of their entire life. The kitten stage is also not quite as crucial as many adopters think it is. Yes, it's a lot of fun to raise a kitten. Yes, important, crucial early training takes place during this formative period. Yes, kittens learn important things about the world at this early stage. But we should not get fixated on kittens as the only stage where we can adopt a wonderful cat and influence their development. We should expect some restraint and control from our kittens around the time we see their attention span increase. They can't get a grip on what we'd like them to cooperate with unless they can actually form a couple of thoughts and link them together. This takes some kittens much longer than others. High-energy kittens are more distractible. Once they slow down a bit, they can be more observant and more deliberate. Then we start showing them that we can be a fun toy to play with. Cats grow up and express their personality no matter what we, or their environment, inputs into them. So when we meet a friendly adult cat in the shelter, questions about friendliness need not arise. Someone else already did right by this cat. Likewise, I have found the training in adult cats is much faster and simpler than training kittens. As adults, making friends with adults, we are much faster and more efficient at figuring out if we have anything in common with a new being. When we were in kindergarten, just living next door was enough to start a strong friendship. As adults, we are more complicated. But this allows friendships to proceed along known likes and dislikes. So it is with adopting adult cats. Kittens have short attention spans, are easily distracted, and have not yet learned how we negotiate good behavior. Adult, especially senior cats, are known for their easy learning curve. They know how to learn. This makes teaching them easy and delightful. Cats spend most of their time as adults, and I find cats are at their most delightfully interactive as adults. This is when cats begin to develop their very best logical and communication skills. Kittens have a hard time remembering that they are not supposed to do something. They never think before they charge into a situation, and while they are adorable and cuddly, they can also be annoying and exasperating, which leaves an in-between option that is a lot of fun and bridges the gap between kitten and adult. That would be the teen cat. Choosing a cat from seven or eight months on up to the age of three years means we are still getting a kitten. But we are getting a kitten with better communication skills, developed self-control, and increased intellect. They are just as playful and just as loving. As I explained in my podcast number 12, The Ark of the Kitten, they are developing adult sensibilities. This means we need to meet them halfway. We will sometimes need to make the first move so they can make one back at us. When they do, it melts the heart. Whether we adopt from a shelter or off the street, cats have the ability to hit the pause button when circumstances get bad and then release it when they get better. This can make their true age tricky to figure out. Don't hide. I'll be back with more in a perfect world. We'll be right back, right after these messages. Stay tuned. Molly, here's your dinner. (coughs) Zeus, that's not your food. Don't let that happen to your precious cat. Elevate your cat's eating experience with the Cat Tree Tray. The Cat Tree Tray keeps your cat's food off the floor and conveniently located on the cat tree. It's the perfect way to eat. It's a beautiful wrought iron tray that easily attaches to your cat tree and keeps dogs and other critters out of your cat's dish. A must for multi-pet households. There's a 6-inch tray for large bowls and a 4-inch tray for smaller bowls. Purchase your cat tree tray today. Go right now to CatTreeTray.com. That's CatTreeTray.com. C-A-T-T-R-E-E-T-R-A-Y.com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. And we're back, talking about how cats grow. There's cat age, and there's cat development stage, and the two don't necessarily go together. 
I mentioned previously that our cat Reverend Jim was still in rough shape when I found him at the shelter at the age of four and a half months. He looked like an adult cat. Once we got him home, over a few minor illnesses, and eating regularly, he filled out and started growing his hair back. He looked kind of normal for his age. But now he acted and processed information like a much younger cat. RJ had come from some kind of restricted or neglected environment. We would show him toys, and he would just look at them blankly. He didn't know how to play. While he was a sweet little guy, always, he had trouble with cause and effect, and so training was tricky. Fortunately, he had two cat pals who were willing to show him the ropes and model correct behavior. This is just another one of those multiple cat advantages, by the way. Cats learn from each other and keep each other following the rules of the house. Having other cats to help him was a great thing for RJ because he was slow to pick up on understanding human language. He loved to cuddle. There was nothing wrong with his heart, but it took extra time for his brain to get online compared to his age. But even RJ, who was as bad off as I've ever seen short of physical brain damage, got over it. We worked with him extra, and I even came up with some special toys to help, and it took extra time. But by the time he matured, he was a normal cat. Of course, we think he's even better than that. So be aware that whatever the cat comes to us with, it might be something we can improve or even eliminate. All of my present cats needed a little extra to bring them to full flower. Olwen almost died from failure to thrive. Tristan needed round-the-clock care because he was only three weeks old. And Mithrandir was still semi-feral. But they all got over it. They're all great cats. Most of the time, that's how it works. As I always say, if we can make a connection, if we have some kind of emotional bond with a certain cat, we can usually work around whatever else might be happening. We can help a challenged cat finish their development much of the time, and this is especially so if they are still a young cat. And if they have some gaps, it might not matter. One of my most delightful cats ever was my little smoke puff. He had genetic issues and developmental delays, and he never did catch up. But everywhere it counted, from faithfully using the litter box to getting along with the other cats, he managed just fine. And there was nothing wrong with his emotional plumbing, either. Because the awesome thing about cats is that they never stop developing, never stop growing mentally. If we don't get a kitten, we miss a few months of goofy adorableness, that's true. But we can look into the face of our adult cat and see their kitten face. It doesn't matter if we saw it then. We can see it now. And when they cuddle with us and act cute, it's as though they are kittens again, happy and trusting. So if we are drawn to an older cat, don't worry. There's just as much cat there to love, and they love just as much. Much like humans, Kittens reach a delightful state of competence and cruise for a few months before the next stage kicks in, the teen cat. And their competence plummets. Cats go through adolescence whether they are altered or not. And of course, please do alter before their hormones kick in for best results. Because adolescence is a mental development stage, as their brain increases in size and complexity, they begin to try out their adult abilities, like independence and egalitarianism. They start testing boundaries. So they will do something they know they are not supposed to do, and we will tell them they know they're not supposed to do that, and they will ask, but why, in cat language? We can usually reestablish our disciplinary agreements after a few rounds of explanations. And that's the thing about teen cats. They want explanations. They want to be treated like responsible adults. And just like human teens, they want this treatment before they can actually manage the things they claim they can do. These are all necessary steps on the road to adult cat, the peak of cat powers. When we have a friendship with an adult cat, we have a peer, a playmate, a true buddy. There's rarely misbehavior issues, and when there are, we can discuss it like grown-ups. This is the longest stage of the cat's life, and in many ways, the most rewarding. Because of this peer-to-peer understanding and partnership. Right now, our little foundling, Tristan, is reaching childhood escape velocity. 
He's become more of a grown-up, and he's even more of a delight. Of course, he was a fun kitten, but he was also into everything and climbing everything and had trouble sleeping through the night and would ask for stuff without being specific about what it was he wanted. Now, while he still has that alpha energy and curiosity, he's more adult. He has different words for different things. He accomplishes rather complicated things just because I ask him to, like be friendlier with Olwen, who is missing James Bond, and keeping Mithy, the kitten, out of trouble. When I'm busy or not feeling well, we can reconnect and reassure so much more easily now that he has an adult brain and knows how to use it. We can certainly enjoy the teen cat's efforts to reach this happy, mature state, no matter how long it may take. Some cats mature earlier than others, but this is true at different times for different states. Some cats mature physically quite early, but their minds take a long time to settle into responsibility, like Tristan. While Irmith Rondir is only a year old, is over 10 pounds, and I don't expect him to finish growing until he's four or five. Yet in some ways, Miss Rondir is more mature than Tristan already. Sensitive to correction, eager to please, and not handicapped by a difficult beginning, Mithy fitted into our home like a puzzle piece, with a minimum of fuss and training. While in lots of ways he is still a cute and adorable kitten, he's less impatient and demanding than Tristan probably will ever ever be. Each cat approaches adulthood with these subtle variations. Each cat reaches adulthood at their own pace, and each cat retains certain kitten ways their whole lives. The process of domestication, for pet purposes, is considered to be the perpetuation of baby traits. The trusting, non-assertive nature of the infant stage is ideal for easy companionship and highly important to the interplay between a dog and their person, for instance. If our dog tries to be the leader of the pack, they will be striving for a job that, in our modern life, they are really not suited for. So creating breeds and circumstances in which the dog is happy being lower in the hierarchy is a good thing. Find out more about how to communicate with our cat no matter where they are in their life cycle. Don't run away. I'll be back with more tips about living in a perfect world. We'll be right back after a short pause. I love cleaning the litter box, said no one ever. Luckily, there's World's Best Cat Litter, the litter that promises less mess with less litter. Only World's Best Cat Litter uses the concentrated power of corn to quickly trap odors in tight clumps. And quick clumping means you never have to chisel or scrape the box. Less cleanup with less wasted litter? That's a litter bit amazing. Save $2 on World's Best Cat Litter. Visit www.saveonworldsbest.com. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. And we're back talking about the shift from adult cat into the senior years. I was describing how some pets have been domesticated in ways which favor a less adult mode even as they become an adult. But cats did not follow this domestication path. An adult cat retains their independence and assertiveness. But this is not a problem with cats, because we can still be friends and cooperate with each other. With cats, no one need be the boss. It's one of the things I love about them. However, we need to remember that we are dealing with an adult when we interact with our adult cat. Whether that be a cat we have known since kittenhood, or a cat we have just adopted. Once again, this is more a matter of development than age. Any cat can relax and behave like a kitten when we are playing or during times of closeness, and this is where we see the results of domestication. They trust us, and this trust and friendship and closeness only deepens and widens as our cats move through their long adulthoods. I never regret my kitten growing up because I get a cat out of the process. And a cat has their own ways of awesomeness. Our youngest adult cat, Tristan, is still the mad cat monkey he always was. But he has expanded self-control, better communication skills, and what we might call more sense now. 
If anything, he's more open with his affections and more insistent on creating special ways for us to spend time together. How much our adult cat loves us depends a lot on their personality, which we cannot change very much, and how much we want them to love us, which we have a lot of control over. The easy ways of kittens do not have much depth, and they don't have much choice in how often they get scooped up. Adult cats can choose to cuddle, to lap sit, and to spend time in our presence. And now that the overwhelming urge to play is somewhat moderated, they will take time to do that. Most of all, we will see our adult cats taking responsibility. And the ways they can decide to do that might astonish and delight us. In our home, the litter, the food dishes, and the toy box get monitored, but also Mr. Way of Cats' nap schedule, dishwashing time, and how everybody shows up on the bed for evening television watching. Kittens can be all over the place, both physically and with their habits. Part of our job when they are younger is to create happy routines for them to follow, so we all know what to expect at what time. Kittens have to learn this. Adult cats, no matter where they come from, are experts, which is why I encourage adult cat adoption, especially for cat newbies. Someone has to know what they're doing, and in such a match, it will be the cat. Does the newbie worry about when to feed and how clean the litter needs to be? Don't worry. Our cat has their standards, their expectations, and ways of conveying this important information. And the process of getting to know our new adult cat is such a joy. Unlike kittens, adult cats show up in our homes on their best behavior. They will quietly observe, figure out where they best fit, and respectfully negotiate the rules of the house. And as they do so, they slowly reveal their personalities, their preferences, their history, and their heart. This delicate reveal is just as fascinating as watching our bumbly kitten grow up. Adult cats are often at their simplest in terms of care at this age, too. Congenital problems would have shown up by now, and they are not yet into their senior years with the associated health challenges. Unlike during their developing years, their food and exercise needs remain stable. So the years we spend with our adult cat are peak experiences and easy ones. For most cats, maturity happens between three and five. They grow in mental power until about 12 or 13. They start slowing down. We're coming up on the senior years. This is a time when our cat slows down physically, but not, hopefully, mentally. There is much we can do to help them achieve these happy golden years, and it should start as soon as they are under our care. Good food, for instance. Canned food arrives in their bowl in a state that approximates nature better than anything except an actual raw diet. It has higher levels of the vital nutrient taurine, protein from animal sources, which our cat has the right enzymes for, and it also brings water with it. It can be tricky to get our cat enough water, and feeding dry just makes the task tougher. We invested in a porcelain water fountain several years back, the end game of a filtering pitcher, lots of different water bowls, and different kinds of fountains. I'm here to tell you it's so worth the investment. Our cats drink so much more water when we fuss over their sources to make the water always available, clean, and fresh. Running water is so attractive to cats, it's why they often ask us to run the faucet for them. Make it always available to them with a cat water fountain from Thirsty Cat Fountains. If we haven't before, this is a good time to make sure they have the added nutrition they need because an older cat's digestion slows down and becomes less efficient at extracting the nutrients our cats need. Sprinkle some brewer's yeast and dry gelatin on their food, simmer some organ meats occasionally, and offer coconut oil or just smear it on their paw for them. These are all tactics I've used to keep my older cats feeling perky and make their fur kitten soft. If they are anxious or have tummy upsets, soak a chamomile tea bag in a cup of hot water and keep it in the fridge as a daily or more spoonful to give to our cat. This is a great digestive aid and tummy soother. We might want to use the microwave to warm up their food, as their sense of smell might not be what it once was. We can use scent cues, like our herbal cat toys from the Way of Cat Shop, to put in their napping spots. 
This offers them reassurance even when they are sleeping and helps ground them in their environment. Now is the time to ask a vet to run a preliminary blood panel just to give us their present state. Any changes or needed attention can be monitored in this way and help us head off crises. As our cat's senses dwindle, they become uncertain about what does come through. This can make them wander around familiar places, not trusting their environment the way they could before. Coconut oil turns out to be a great help to the aging cat brain, and the humans too, and it's a source of energy that doesn't need digestion. A bit the size of our fingertip, swiped on a cat's front paw, can be the wonderful addition to our cat's morning routine. We should encourage gentle exercise to help their circulation or learn how to give them kitty massages. We can make our rituals bigger and better so they will make more of an impression. If there was anything our cat showed interest in and doesn't anymore, we might wake them up by making a huge fuss over it again. As our cats age, their incredible senses dull and they live in a world with the volume turned down. Gentle ways to turn this back up again will help both of us enjoy this special time. If we had a mental giant, like my James Bond, the slowed down body will not bother them because they enjoy thinking, plotting, and scheming so much. But alpha cats can find the lack of physical prowess distressing. We can help fill this gap by getting creative with their toys and shift them from active wild play to puzzles and smaller manipulations. But... Many alphas just don't slow down at all, so don't count on it. A little attention from us at this time will help us keep in touch. If they used to appear during movie time or when we were on the computer and they don't anymore, it might just be that they need a gentle reminder or some transport. A heating pad near us can also be very appreciated by our older cat. We want to let them know they're still very special boys and girls to us because they are at any age, because every stage of their life has its challenges and its delights. And we have ways of being close that can fit these different life stages. Find out more life stage tips at wayofcats.com backslash blog. They are always the right age for one of our herbal cat toys. And look for my ebook, Cat 911, for the total care manual for any age. Until next time, let's treasure the age they're at in a perfect world. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.